Hey, hey, good, good morning. morning. It's Friday. <laughs> Even before I said Friday, your hand came up. Like you're I ready for Friday. We're going. I'm Dr. Robin. This is Russ, together with the founders of the Whole Food Muscle Club, and we've written the book How to Feed a Human the Whole Food Muscle Way. And on Fridays, we come on here and we give you the weekend review and we tell you our plans for the weekend and all that kind of fun stuff. So, this week, what did we talk about this week? On Monday, we talked to you about our weekend, and I told you um, about a study here in Delaware at the University of Delaware that is looking for participants. If you were between... Good morning, Christine. Hey, Christine. <laughs> good morning. If you are between uh, 50 and 64, I think that's it, 50 and 64, and you are interested in participating in a health study at the University of Delaware, um, Dr. Greg Dominic is looking for participants. There's some other uh, requirements. You have to ha be on blood pressure medication, you have to be sleeping poorly, and you have to, what was the other Not one? Exercise. Not be exercising right. regularly. Right. So those are some uh, requirements. I will, when we get done here, I will put the link again for the uh, study in, our, uh, in the description box so that you, or in the comment section so that if you want to uh, reach out to Dr. Dominic. Yes. If you, you fit that. in that minutia of a, <laughs> you know, genre, whatever, Definitely, group of people. Definitely uh, reach out to him because th there's actually, they're, you know, they're paying you for your time. There's a Fitbit involved. Like there's, mm -hmm. it's a, it looks like a fun study. Um, unfortunately, Russ yeah, and I don't I mean, qualify. The first level, level gets you a $50 Amazon card just, just for going to, I think, a two-hour um, focus group. Focus group. Yeah, have a conversation with them. Yeah. yeah, so told you about that. I also told you on Monday about um, some new exercise that I'm doing. I'm starting to use the ERG, which is actually a rowing machine to those of us who are not in the rowing space. Exactly. So I did it for the first time on Monday. I did it again on Wednesday. I gave myself a blister, which is why I don't have my wedding ring on right this minute because I took it off today because I did it again today. And I have kind of, I've got the, I've got the motion down. I've got it figured out. I need to so good. It's like, mm. No, it's mm. no other way. Mm. Yeah, that way. Mm. <laughs> so I have to look up some YouTube videos because I want to get better at it. Um, but I definitely did give myself a blister uh, with it um, on uh, on Wednesday, so that was a problem. On Tuesday, we told you, we talked to you about. I have to look at it to say this because otherwise I'm going to say it wrong. Carrageenan, Carrageenan. Anyway, it's a thing. It's made from. Um, Irish moss or red seaweed. It's a derivative of it and it's used as an emulsifier in a lot of different um, things. We gave you a whole list of all the things that it's in. And for those that don't know what an emulsifier is? <laughs> you know, you want me to tell them? It's the thing that keeps liquids suspended together. So apparently, interesting story, the um, powers that be made milk, cow's milk, um, homogenized, which means that they break the fat down so it's the same, the molecules are the same size as the whey molecules, so it all stays, it doesn't separate. If you have ever had raw milk, you know the cream separates. So they homogenize milk, and now apparently that has come over into other things like plant milks and mm -hmm. different things where they want things to stay homogenized, and so they use emulsifiers to keep things homogenized so you don't have to shake them. Heaven forbid we have to shake anything right. ever. I shake everything anyhow. It's true. But <laughs> um, there are there is some science that says that this car I have to look at it again, Carrageenan, and it's spelled C-A-R-R-A-G-E-E-N-A-N. -E -E um, causes uh, problems with leaky gut and IBS and all and we talked about it in detail. Um, so go watch the video right. in the Whole Food Muscle group. Um, in detail. So we've decided we're going to start avoiding it. Um, it's not, we don't eat a lot of processed food, so it's not in a lot of things that we eat. So for us, it's not a huge deal. Um, but, you know, look into it, see if it's right for you. Um, it may, it may or may not be. We've decided that we're, we're going to uh, avoid ingesting it. Right. And then on Wednesday, we talked about should you eat before or after you work out. And one thing I forgot to mention to you, I told you that on fasting days, we don't eat before or after. Right. Um, but on regular days, like today, we do eat directly after. So yes. we, we do work out in a fasted state, and our bodies are really good at um, burning fat for fuel. We are, we've taught our bodies to do that, so I don't have any trouble working no, out. No, and, and to say right after, I mean, we're not eating on the way home from the gym. It's no. about a half hour to 45 minutes, I mean, because we do nibble on uh, almonds, almonds and raisins. As we're while, making our while, meal. Yeah, before we talk to you guys, so we're... Um, you know, but then our regular meal starts right after we're done doing our live. And one of the benefits of doing that is it does force your body to burn the glycogen that's in your uh, muscles in your liver, and that is a, a pretty healthy thing. 
So that's what we do. It's, it's what we recommend. It, and plus, you know, for me, if I try to eat before, it makes me nauseous. So that's not ever a good thing. Yeah. And then yesterday, we had a conversation with you about what to do with the pulp that's left over from juicing. And the first thing we said to you was, don't juice. Right. <laughs> that's the first thing we said, because if you're juicing, you're losing all the nutrients that are attached to that fiber. Um, but if you decide that you're going to do that, if that's you know right for you, then you know fine. Mm -hmm. But don't please don't throw away the pulp. Yeah, and also when you juice, you you are already bypassing the very first step of digestion, which is chewing. Which is chewing. So. Yep, good point. Um, and so we gave you some tips. Th you know things like put it in soups or at least put it in your garden or compost it or put it in your flower beds because if you wrap it in plastic and put it in a landfill, you've now eliminated that energy uh, from from the world, and that's right. not a good thing. But um, yeah, keep that stuff is really good for your gut. It's good for your microbiome. So I, we would highly recommend that rather than uh, juicing, that you go ahead and yeah. chew your food. That doesn't really mean you can't make a blend. Because right. a blend, you're still going to get everything in there. So if you want to put your stuff into a blend and, and do that, you're still getting all the fiber and all the nutrients. It's, it's still not as good as eating it without blending it, but it's still okay. Um, yep. You know. Also wanted to let you know that, um, so usually, hey Wendy, hey, good Wendy. morning, happy Friday to you too. Um, usually I do my cooking show on the weekends, but two things are happening that's gonna make that not possible. One, we are actually going to friend's house for dinner tonight and they've asked me to bring gluten-free cookies. So I'm gonna be making those today. So I figured since I'm making them, I'm gonna go ahead and make them live. So I will be on later this afternoon in the Whole Food Muscle Group, um, showing you how to make uh, gluten-free oatmeal Chocolate chip Chocolate cookies. Chip, yeah. And they're really good. We enjoy them. I've made them before. I'm going to eat them. That's so all i got to say about be doing that. that later today. And then um, this weekend, we're also driving uh, down to uh, Baltimore, Baltimore area, into the D.C. area, to um, see my sister. She right. is out from California visiting her in-laws, and so we're going to pop down to see them on Sunday. So I will not be home to be able to cook for you. Oh, no. We're going to disappear. So um, look for me to make... Um, make cookies this afternoon. I'm not exactly sure what time. I have some work I need to do and then we have to run out and get uh, some vegan chocolate chips. So, But it will be this afternoon. We have to be at dinner at 6.30. So it'll be before then. It'll be before then, <laughs> for sure. But I'm, I'm going to show you how to make those so that'll be, that'll be a lot of fun. Um, I am going to be cooking something else this weekend. Um, oh, I'd say, why oh. are you seeing Wendy's other comments? Oh. Oh, those sound yummy. They are yummy. They are yummy. They are yummy. Yeah. Um, I may this weekend be making... Um, some cauliflower, it's, I don't know what to call it because it's not ground beef, but you use it like ground beef, but it, it's, it's cauliflower based. I have a recipe for that that I want to try, um, but I'm not sure what day that'll be and if I'll be able to do it live or not, but I'll definitely, if I do it, I'll give you an update about it on uh, Monday, regardless of whether I'm able to do it live mm -hmm. for you or not. Oh, Chastity's here. Oh, good and morning, Laura Chastity. says happy Friday. Happy Friday, good Laura. Good morning, everyone. Yes, good to see you. Mm, see, this is nice because it automatically scrolls up. I have, have to work to, at it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. So what else do we have to tell them now that it's Friday? Um, just that we have some, we're working on some things for our, our services uh, along the lines of personal one-on-one -on -one coaching mm -hmm. and also a group thing which we're, we're looking to incorporate an app so uh, where we can monitor what people are doing. And, and give can, you give you feedback right? and, and do, do more because one of the things that people say they get from us is motivation and inspiration and so we're trying to find a way to incorporate that, incorporate that more into their daily lives. And make it as easy as possible where we can actually set goals like uh, here's your goal for today or for the week or whatever and you guys can you know incorporate or, or input the stuff as you do it. Whether it's steps or... We're working you know, on it. We're working on it. We're playing around with some ideas. So hopefully that'll happen soon. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You guys. Morning, guys. Yep, yep. That's it. Happy Friday. Happy All right. Friday. I think we're going to go eat some oatmeal because I don't it. know about you, but I'm hungry. I'm hungry. That's staring, staring me. It's mocking me. It That's is mocking doing. us. It is mocking us. So look for me later this afternoon to make cookies. All right. So with that... Join with the Whole Food Muscle Club. That too. With that, <laughs> we'll say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. Have a good weekend.